Dick. They're looking to extend their three-game winning streak in this fourth-round game between the Dayton Flyers and the North Carolina Tar Heels. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Tar Heels are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. First, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Next, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Thirdly, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Dick, he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Inside. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. They move it into the front court. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. He'll regroup the offense. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it there. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. He looks at the hoop. Turns it over. This should be an easy two. For the bucket, he drains the shot. My goodness, Mr. Nestler, that was phenomenal, baby. There he is, strips the ball loose. You can't get away with that. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He steps up to the line. First shot is good. He hits his second. Fed the low block. The frustration right there. Jones is emotionally pumped up. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. He tries to knock down the three. Scorches the net. They scored nine in a row. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. The fake. The small forward gets the pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. He is going to the line. It's the first. Gets his second. Rims off. He gets the board. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. 
move. Was locking on the box. Out of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. They still don't score. That was nice. Roll it back, fellas. The Flyers have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Time to pick up the defense here now. Fakes it. Dump it inside. The point guard gets the ball. Goes for the deep one. Trying to pack it inside. Jumps into the defender. Hey, as a coach, you really like to see your kids get up and challenge shots like that. A lot of times, a challenge is enough to make the offensive player change their shot in the air. From three-point land. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Inside, the center takes the feed. For two, perfectly executed. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. High post screen, gonna use it? He shoots from the angle. He shows the sweet touch. Number 50 with the fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. Gave it up. I don't know what I enjoyed more, Brad. The Bunker watching the mascot. What a reaction. He's really into it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries for two. <laughs> and our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. He shoots from left of the circle. He gets that one to fall. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Got a nice screen. The power forward with the ball. He fakes the shot. Fake. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Stole the ball. Great pressure there. That's no pressure. Pressure got to the ball handler. He lost it. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. That one, there should have been a foul goal, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Jones. They're going to give him the basket and the foul. That's huge and one for the senior, baby. The Tar Heels composure is dropping by the second right now. Hey, if I was on that team, I would be frustrated as well. The team's performance is nothing to be proud of at this moment. To the charity strike. He buries it. That's a seven-zip run. Trying to draw the foul. The land. Spacing. The center takes the pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Mm -hmm. 
looking for contact. He drains it. There's the fake. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Entry pass in the paint, and Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Got the high pick for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> on the inside. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on a defensive end. Just are excited with that jam. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. For two. Well, this isn't the contest we expected so far. This is turning into a blowout, baby. Somebody better find some heart and start doing the little things. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He shoots from outside. He hits the shot. The Tar Heels often recruit really athletic players, and they aren't afraid to travel the globe to find them. They like to play a style of basketball that requires some gifted athletes. He fires away. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand not too long ago. <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He launches the bomb. The Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Nice fake. Now they work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, off the rim, and no good. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Let's see if the replay does that any justice. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Gave it up. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in trouble for a position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. three-point range. No. Trying to draw some contact. Wait, 
anticipation defensively. He takes the shot from the baseline. You betcha. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines on standing by the losing team's bench, and their coaching staff is reminding them it's just your nerves. Relax. Once you've settled in, you'll come back. Thanks, Aaron. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. In and out. Goes up for two. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. He takes the shot. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Picked off. Takes the pass in the paint for two. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job. Gets a hand in the way. They work the perimeter. On the top of the key. The Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. And he's on fire. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Now the high screen. Picks off the lazy pass. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Number 40 sees his first action of the day. Man, I love to watch this kid play, Brad. He's the type of player who knows how to really lift the team. First one, good. And he got them both. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. top of the circle. The Tar Heels have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. If you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Moving it around the perimeter. The fake. The ball goes out of play. Boy, the turnover runners are big, and that's big turnover. Turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. High post player flashing. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Slam jam bam. Up and away. The elevator man. They love it. Good fake. 
There's the pick. There's the roll. Way off target. He intercepts it. Long lead pass. Looking for a good shot. He strokes it. It's good. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. On the dribble, gives it up. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. Side and he tries a drop step defensively and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Here's a flash from the post up high. Ten on the shot clock. Stolen. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. He fires from long range. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. That's a foul. That suit's got to be feeling pretty hot about now. Things are not going well. Wow, look at the dejection, the disappointment, the depression, the three Ds. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Misses the second. He grabs the rebound. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Double team now, bad angle. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the dribble, gives it up. Dayton is now in the bonus. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He has one and one. Got it from the free throw line. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. It's the second. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Here's a double team. Oh, what a strip, Brad. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A uh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Steals the pass. He looks for three. 
Off the rim and no good. Two for one opportunity. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. Shot clock is dead. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. On the top of the key. Buried it. Way out on top, controlling the ball. At halftime, the Tar Heels are down by 16. We have had a whale of a contest so far in the first half, Dick Vitale. What do you have for a highlight of the half for us? Watch here. Having the ball inside like you see. In this highlight, we'll take a lot out of a team on defense. I expect to see more of the same from both teams in the second half. All right, Dick, let's get back to the action as the two teams are just about ready to start the second half. North Carolina gave a lot of possessions by turning the ball over. Their coaches must be livid right now. The amount of extra opportunities to give it away is just absurd. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. The small forward handles the pass. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Welch receives the ball. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Stolen away. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. perimeter takes away the pass now he faces up on the low block I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket he attempts the three the Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment Brad, he's on fire looking to move it around the perimeter Goes up for two. Basket falls despite the contact. And a momentary look from three-point land. He makes the block. They work the perimeter. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Pushes it. And the ball goes out of bounds. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He shoots from left of the circle. it around the arc. Welch receives the pass. He unloads. Off the rim and no good. Now the 
turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Steals the pass. Kicks it out. He pulls the trigger. Rims out. Pushes it up. He throws it down court. Tries for two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Picked out of the air. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locked. Blocks the shot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. The small forward handles the feed. Another turnover. We're not talking about the turnovers either. Gave it up. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Man, he used that screen to perfection. Used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Working it around the perimeter. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot. Get help from the help side and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Looking for a good shot. There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from right of the circle. Makes it. Up and inside. Sucker out of the game, man. He drains the bucket. That's 11 unanswered. See who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Jumped in front to take it away. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far. Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Step out on that screener. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Up and inside. For the deuce. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Sets the screen for his teammate. On the outside. He fires from long range. He gets the bucket to fall. Throws it up, goes up for two, and he scores despite the hack. Strips the ball. 
Garrison makes it. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. At the line. He makes it. Here's a flash from the high post. I think they're trying to make a statement. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. He sinks both of them. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He can't miss. And he man's feeling it, Brad. And he goes with a spin and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He pump fakes. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream and your post player can be an exceptional passer. There's the trap. He takes it away. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. In the... Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some cut. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. With the freebie. Makes it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries the three ball. He buries the shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Picks off the lazy pass. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Look at that spacing. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Gave it up. Dick, you talk about school with history. UNC definitely ranks among the best. All the great games, the great players, you look up in the rafters, all you see are Carolina greats of the past. Hey, Brad, it's really amazing. The memories are endless. Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Ball's kicked right back out. Nice deal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Way off target.
He intercepts it. Looking for the foul. North Carolina are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Unloads a three. He shows the sweet touch. They work the perimeter. Up and inside. From downtown. Buried it. They work it back to the outside. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, this is what people wanted. A close championship game. The action and intensity has really picked up down here on the sidelines, and everyone wants to see a great finish. can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the only thing like football special situations. you got to be able to execute there. He hits the second shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. It back out. Double team now, bad angle. Ten seconds to get it off. Nice shot. There they come with a double team to stop it. He attempts the three, goes in. The Tar Heels are down by four. Moving it around the perimeter. From the top of the key. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From left of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. He nails the bucket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, Coach, dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Off the rim and no good. This one might go down to the final buzzer. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. I 
isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper for the bucket with a layup. Here's the offensive drop step. A little. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Take it away. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man. There's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. On the outside, let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, the good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. He goes to the line for the first time. First one, good. Hits that one. He gets them all. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. Takes away the pass. Brad, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop of this possession. Steals the pass. He gets the bucket to fall. Gives it up. He hits it. Hard foul. Dick, we're going to look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestle. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. He shoots from downtown. The Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, and passing the block. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Looking for a good shot. He looks for the bomb. Rims out. Easy one. Takes the pass in the paint. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Let's get a replay, baby. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. He throws up the shot. He hits the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I love this guy, Hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Jumped in front to take it away. 
Number 22 is whistled for the foul. Fourth team foul. Watch here. With the free throw. Makes the shot. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. Aaron's right about that, Dick. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. In the paint. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Again, a little one-man backcourt pressure. Gave it up. Takes it off him. They get it out into transition. Gets it to fall. The replay reveals the deal, baby. Dump it inside. Fakes the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. That was nice. Try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. Moving it around the perimeter. He takes the three. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Shot clock is dead. Got to give that five-second call to the defense. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Brad, this place will be deathly if they can score here. Look at him taunting the crowd, Dick. Now he's having too much fun. That taunt may find him in big trouble with this crowd. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. Ready to resume. Dick, I think the better team won. We can say that. And uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But, you know, you've got to win it and keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. 
the Tar Heels, takes care of business in this fourth round game. Well, I'll tell you, Brad, they just proved they have too many weapons to be denied the big W. They'll have to continue to play like this as they face some of the stiffest competition in quest of the Final Four. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.